Uh, is it top of the tee goes before me? I can't remember. Look, merge like a surfer. Merge. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look, Brian, I said don't wear the same wetsuit as me. This is getting outrageous out in the break. Oh, you're going to get oh, it. Oh, I'm going to hug you, mate. Oh, this is such an awkward hug. I just don't know how to express my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb what? here and say it's got something to do with surfing. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought surfing was meant to be, like, a really chilled-out sport. Oh, Apparently no. not. It gets hard out in those waves, babes. Trust Does me. <laughs> Trust oh, me, Claire. Oh. I'm a um, I'm a bodyboarder. <laughs> you know, I like to go. I'm a bit more casual, more a boogie boarder, you know. Yeah, I so yeah, I get beaten oh, up. I was a... <laughs> oh, actually, is this oh, an, oh, is this the new Mary New Zealand Mary safety Mary video? Mary and they've just gone full on. <laughs> yeah, um, Jeremy. Yes, Di. Jeremy might be on to something here. This is um, Jetstar taking on Air New Zealand, and they're going for a more edgy version <laughs> on the safety video. When the oxygen mask falls down, beat the shit out of the person next to you. <laughs> I like your story better than the real one, which is a study is being conducted at Massey University into the phenomenon known as surf rage. Both in New Zealand and overseas, disputes oh over surfing etiquette have led to cases of intimidation and even, as you saw there, assault. But then violence has always been an issue in surfing, hasn't it, in their community? I mean, ever since the Beach Boys released that song, let's go fuck up some <laughs> <laughs> It does seem like a pointless waste of time, you know, silly way to spend your life, you know, um, studying at Massey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did, did apologise. I read the article about him and he, he apologised for the fact that everyone thought this was an excuse to go surfing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a good way of defending yourself if it is an excuse <laughs> to go surfing. <laughs> but it's uh, like he's doing his... So he's got to go surfing every day for three years. That's quite suspicious. It's like showing up and going, oh, yeah, I'm doing my PhD on uh, the behaviour of people who go to calendar girls every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's his end game? Has he stated that? Yeah, well, it's basically to, to I, I presume, bring up some sort of thesis, which you wouldn't think is hard as to why surfers get angry. It's hard to explain, though, but in layman's terms, it's like when you're in the green room just trying to do a snapback, like looking for a little nose candy off the rim, you just see this, <laughs> see this guy in a twinny foamy popping out on the shoulder and you're like, get out of it, Gary, and you just pull up a high line around him and you're like, what's for lunch, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get, like you get your head smacked in out there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds like he's been to Calendar Girls, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, I've seen this on, on, on TV. It's getting more political. There are people out there wearing, you know, little hats saying, make Piha Nali again. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Black Sands Matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I, don't, yeah. I don't get that, like, the stereotype of surfers being peaceful and chilled out. Like, one of them bit up a shark last year. Yeah. I think that's what Mick Fanning was doing. He yeah. wasn't saving his own life. That shark just dropped in on his wave. And he yeah. 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 I, pun I punched a snapper. <laughs> Good, what's the story? Uh, yeah, Corey? Got, it's not really funny, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> I went surfing once when I was 16, the only time I've ever done it, and I got put off by it, because, um... So my dad took me out, and, uh, that's where all the pretty girls from high school hung out. Mm. And I went in, I was at, like, knee-deep water, and I got a cramp. <laughs> and um, I fell down and my dad thought I was drowning. This actually happened and he jumped into the water in his clothes, pulled me out and tried to give me CPR in front of all these girls. But I'm like, I was alive. I was like actually telling him, I'm like, I'm not drowning, Dad, I'm fine. And he's like, just be quiet, well, I'm going to save you. And I was like, I'm fine. And the girls, I'm like, I'm fine, girls, don't worry. Like... That's because your dad had noticed the girls as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Imagine quickest... what they'll think of me when I save my son. <laughs> quickest way to a girl's heart is to pass your dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's the town slogan of Stewart Island. <laughs> if you like that video from Seven Days, then click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or for more exclusive clips, go to tv3.co.nz forward slash seven days.